Well, today is now day eight in jury selection as lawyers work to assemble a jury. Three men facing murder charges, Vermont Arbery up in Glen County. They're in Brunswick. A pool of qualified jurors now up to 42. The judge wants to get 64 in all to fill the pool before they narrow it down finally to 12 permanent and four alternates. All right, our Renata DeGloria has been in Brunswick since this whole process started. A judge hopeful to get that jury selection process perhaps wrapped up by tomorrow, but they're going to have to pick up the pace. Hello, Renata. Good afternoon, Lou. Yeah, it was a wet start today and a later start because they only have 19 people today, but they got started 45 minutes late. So it's kind of pushing them back even a little bit more to get to that 64, the number that they want to have by tomorrow. So getting there is what's been causing a lot of stress outside with family and supporters we've been talking to and inside the courtroom, but they are getting there. Some things to know about some of the potential jurors that went through today is Four of them actually knew Ahmad Arbery, and almost half of them have an opinion about the lapse of time between when Arbery was killed and the arrest of the men accused of killing him. There were no arrests for nearly three months. The potential jurors who were struck were a white man who has a medical hardship and a black woman who said her experience working with law enforcement affected her judgment. The person not struck was a soft-spoken 18-year-old white woman who struggled to answer questions and said she didn't want to serve because of her age. We've been talking with supporters of Ahmad Arbery's family for weeks, and we're hearing now from the attorneys for the men accused of killing him. They say it's okay that jury selection is taking so long because they need to make sure that the jury will be fair. We're very pleased that we've gotten the numbers of jurors that we've gotten as qualified. And judging from the panels that we have coming up, it looks like we'll be okay and we'll be able to get a qualified jury by the end of the week. And we're just learning that in the courtroom, they just got back from a lunch recess, so things are starting up again. We also know that the McMichaels, Travis McMichaels defense team, does not believe that a change of venue will be necessary. Live in Brunswick, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your side.